Oh, girl, how you made that? Hey, y'all, so we are doing a nice delectable sweet treat today. So we have some Magnum ice cream, y'all, and it is, a, I think it's a sea salted caramel. We got some Bailey salted caramel. We got some Crown Royal salted caramel. And, y'all, we are going to need the blender for this. So I got my blender cup. And this ice cream right here, this Magnum ice cream, y'all, I'm going to do a good bit of scoops, y'all, because it is very soft. If you can't tell, like, I had it in the freezer for, like, over a week, and it's still just super soft. Um, you want your ice cream to be kind of hard a little as you're putting it inside your blender for you to get, like, the perfect texture for this. So, right now, I am just scooping about, I would say about the whole container almost i think i left just a little bit at the bottom of the container y'all and then now i am going to grab my salted caramel crown royal and this right here isn't only perfect for cocktails y'all it is actually perfect to mix in with some ice cream make as a sweet treat like we're doing today so i also have some bailey salted caramel y'all know this stuff go with everything okay do not sleep on that right there and then y'all i got me some of the homemade vanilla ice cream too um i'm adding some of this in because it's harder than the magnum ice cream it's not soft and i wanted some of that firm ice cream to go inside of the blender also because you don't want to put ice inside of this because i don't want to water it down so it's supposed to come out kind of like a little milkshake so once you got all your ice cream in there loaded up um all your mix in there which is your salted caramel crown royal and your babies as well salted caramel also now y'all y'all can use some of that butter pecan ice cream because i know some butter pecan lovers out there so you can most definitely use butter pecan ice cream you can use all vanilla if you want to try cookies and cream and step out on the limb y'all can go ahead and do cookies and cream also um right now i have my z martini glass and i am garnishing it with some caramel and then I am just pouring my mix in, y'all. And this caramel is going to bring out some of that caramel flavor. Y'all, if y'all get a glass that's like more um, smaller at the top, the mouth part, then the whipped cream is going to sit perfectly inside that. I wanted to use my little cute martini Z glass, y'all, because it don't be getting used like it needs to. So I had to come with the sweet treat inside of that. So we got our whipped cream on top and then I'm just putting a little caramel and then putting a little cherry on top. And y'all can purchase this cute little martini glass at SplashBarExpress.com. It is super good for a lot of cocktails. And I hope you guys enjoy your little midnight late night snack. 